Welcome back to the Union Street Podcast. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'm Luke O'Neill. I'm your host for today. Today, we dive deep with glaciers and my friend Derek Irvin comes in to talk about Soil Health Week and the Southern Illinois Soil Health Symposium that's happening here at Union Street Arts next week on Thursday, March 7th. So we're going to talk with Derek and get an insight about why soil health matters and get more details on this upcoming event. So stay tuned for that awesome discussion we have upcoming. But first, thank you to everybody that has purchased our Eclipse Over Little Egypt t-shirts. Thank you. Shout out to everybody. It's been a great response so far. Uh, We've had a lot of online orders. And actually this week, we sent our first orders out. So we are sending these shirts to Chicago, Illinois. Shout out to Nell and Ryan. Thank you, guys. We're shipping to O'Fallon. Thanks, Emily. And to Effingham, Illinois. And that, Shout out to you, Jennifer. So we are shipping these shirts. You can buy these on our website, unionstreetarts.com slash shop to get the orders. Or you can pick it up here at our studio. Uh, shout out to my parents, Alicia, Roderick. Shout out to Gus. Thank you guys for coming in our studio and picking up the shirts in person. We are selling them here as well. So thank you all for that. It's been really fun. UnionStreetArts.com slash shop. Glacier's in. Derek Irvin. How's it going? Thanks for being here, man. It's going good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming on. We are talking the Soil Health Symposium. Second annual, right? Yep. Second annual. Derek, what is this event you got coming here to Union Street Arts? Yeah, absolutely. So it's um, it's Soil Health Week, um, which is, this would be the third annual Soil Health Week. Uh, we are working on getting a bill passed that would make it every year. Um, but I think they've passed a resolution this year. So we, each year we've got a resolution passed so that, that it can be uh, official. Um, and so it's basically brings attention uh, and awareness uh, to issues re- revolving around farming, soil health. Uh, not necessarily you don't have to be a farmer. I mean, you can garden uh, or, or even just, you know, just keep keep those things in mind even as you do the landscape around your house. You know, all of that stuff's important. Sounds like some real great activism you guys have been doing the past few years. So thanks for standing up for our community through the agriculture, through the farms, through the soil and soil health week now. Yeah. You know, we try at our farm at Glacier's End, we try to, uh, we've, from the very beginning, we've kind of tried to bring in some, some ways of farming, uh, that are sustainable, uh, and are regenerative, which are kind of the buzzwords these days around soil health, um, which basically means that you kind of leave things better than you found it. Um, a lot of times people kind of don't understand and realize that that uh, farming can be an extraction economy where you're just taking and taking and taking. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you put Band-Aids on it and spray some chemicals on things. Uh, but over time, that catches up to you. So kind of bring an awareness to kind of kind of uh, bring some ideas and, and some some practices to kind of do that. And as you're farming to kind of give back to the soil, rebuild the soil, because that's you know, that's a that's an asset that we have in Illinois has some of the best soil in the world. And it's not a, it's, it's something that's not going to be forever. It's a finite resource and we should treat it like that. And so why do this event? Why bring these type of people together for this type of event? So my, our personal, um, our personal kind of way we approach is that we, you know, we, there's two types of farming. There's a lot of different types, but there's kind of more of the, I like to call us the hippy dippies. Uh, you know, we do um, some permaculture and some agroforestry and stuff like that. And then there's the more conventional farmers uh, who have done it uh, for a long time, and and it served them served us well, you know. But a lot of those I- ideas, kind of of the mechanistic farming, kind of grew out of World War II, uh, and. Like I said, you know, they've done okay, um, but but some of those could be improved. And it's the same with us. You know, there's stuff that we can learn from the, the guys who've done it uh, on, a, on a large scale. Uh, and our vision is to bring them both together, 
hear from everybody about the different ways they're doing it, kind of shake hands and talk to each other and kind of make a fellowship and, and a community uh, and bring our ideas and our heads together because it takes both of these uh, types of farming to, if there's ever going to be any change, everyone's got to be on board. Um, and so especially with the youth, uh, the young uh, conventional farmers and the young, um, the hippy dippies like us, the kind of, you know, get get some at least let them know that these practices exist so that they 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 can maybe use them and and go into it and and kind of kind of develop these uh, practices as they grow in their business. And this is the second year that this is happening. Can you touch on last year at all or any of the upcoming speakers for this event? Sure. So last year was fantastic. Uh, we kind of covered different sized farms like we started with the small farms but to like a medium-sized farm and then large-scale uh agriculture uh and our, our our final speaker last year was adam dahmer and he was so good uh and he's he runs um advanced cover crops which is a uh and cover crops is a big uh element of these practices it's a, it's a it's a big part of it um and he started this off last year and he said, Hey, you know, I'm just going to do a, a little one Oh one kind of intro to cover cropping. And, and he did that and it was great. But at the end of the night, everyone wanted to hear more from him. And so this year we've kind of made him the keynote speaker at the end and we're going to give him a longer time. Um, and he's going to go in depth into the cover cropping uh, and the philosophy behind it and techniques. Um, and to kick us off is going to be fantastic. We've got uh, Logan Karcher, uh, who is um, from the Illinois Grazing Lands Coalition. Uh, and he's going to be talking about regenerative livestock grazing. So um, a lot of these a lot of different approaches to to building soil. But livestock can be uh, a part of that um, as you know, they're the way, you know, they're obviously their waste is, is good at rebuilding soil and putting organic matter back into soil. They kind of are basically, you know, as they graze and they trample stuff, the, the, the weeds down and stuff, they can create these, um, and improve your soil. And by moving them around, you can, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So he's going to be approaching it from that angle, cool. kind of the livestock angle. And then, um, Adam's going to be coming from more of the farming angle. Always keep an eye out for Southern Illinois uh, uh, Soil Health Symposium. Um, it's it's part of Illinois Soil Health Week, uh, which was is uh, spearheaded by the Illinois Stewardship Alliance. I, I don't know if I plugged them earlier, but cannot plug them enough. Um, there, I was just on the phone. Someone called me talking about cottage food, and I directed them straight to Illinois Stewardship Alliance because these guys are the ones who are spearheading all kinds of good initiatives for small farms, small uh agriculture uh, producers like ourselves making products and have done so many good things and continue to do it. They're the ones who spearheaded this, uh, this initiative for uh, Illinois soil health week. Uh, and so we, and we are just, you know, glad to be a part of what they're doing. Um, and we're just glad to, to be doing this for Southern Illinois and, and hope to get a buzz about some making some better soil and, and maintaining and, and, and taking good care of what we've been given. Well said, Derek. And so, why does soil health matter? Well, healthy soil, healthy people. And that's the, that's the, that is the theme for this year's uh, Soil Health Week. So, uh, healthy soil, healthy bodies. Uh, you grow healthy food. Um, in, you, you grow things locally. You reduce the food miles so you're not shipping things across the, com- the country. Um, Illinois is one of the leading agricultural states in the union. And... Uh, the produce that we eat is about 90% shipped here from other places. So it's great that we have a lot of commodity farms. It's fantastic, but you know what? We need, we need more local produce. We need local, local small farms and market gardens and market farmers. Um, And that all starts with the soil. That's, that's the important part. And so um, we, we've got to, we've got to be good stewards of what we've been given and we've been given some of the best soil in the world. Oh, it's a amazing place to be. Shout out to state of Illinois and the shout out to Illinois stewardship Alliance and shout out to glaciers in and all the advocacy you guys are doing behind the scenes. We'll have to have you back on for another dive about some of the legislation you guys have been working on too. Do you want to mention anything about that 
before we wrap? Uh, well, you know, we we're we're trying to get some legislation passed uh, for cover crops. Um, we just got back from D.C. Uh, and actually, another important part of this week, uh, the day before our symposium on the sixth is. Uh, is lobby day in Springfield. And a lot of people are, a lot of farmers and a lot of eaters are going to talk to Illinois representatives and senators about soil health and about, um, you know, good practices and a lot of agricultural um, uh, bills and that kind of thing we're trying to, to, to spearhead. So um, it's it's a busy week for that kind of stuff. And, and uh, it's going to be really cool. So, Derek, what do people need to do to come to this event? So, you know, walk-ins are welcome. Uh, we'll have a registration here, but we'd really appreciate it if you pre-registered to kind of know how many people are coming. Uh, you can find the link to the register at our uh, on our Facebook page, or I believe probably our Instagram probably has it as well. Uh, but I actually, I think a web the Facebook would be better. Um, and yeah, just go sign up. Uh, if you don't get a chance, feel free to come and you can register here. But uh, we'd love to hear from you beforehand. Awesome. So pre-register so we can get some numbers going, but walk-ins are definitely welcome. Yep. And it's free. Uh, it's free to come and uh, no no charge at all. Uh, and just w- would be glad to see you. Very cool. And I do want to give a shout out to your store. You, uh, we're business neighbors here just off the square in Marion. So let's yep. give a shout out to your store and just t- talk about how the store ties in and what you guys have been up to. So, yeah, I mean, we, our store is, uh, is products that we, that we make here, uh, on the square in our kitchen, uh, in the back of our showroom. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting, uh, approach, um, that we, you know, everything's kind of made on site and we, you know, we sell around at far, farm, uh, farmers markets and festivals and things like that. Um, but uh, a lot of it is sold through our, our, our store. And, and a lot of what we use to make our products are things that we grow and that local farmers grow. Um, as much as we possibly can, like everything, can't get everything, but um, as I would say a good 80% or more comes from, from Southern Illinois. So Southern Illinois produce, Southern Illinois product. It's just a little taste of Southern Illinois. We kind of try to keep it weird and interesting. I love it. I love the products. Big fan of the hot sauces, the pepper jellies, the shrubs. And it's just all awesome, man. Well, I appreciate it. And I love you guys having you guys over here and Great addition to downtown Marion. So if anybody wants to get involved or reach out to you, Glacier's End, or anything with Soil Health Week, where would you point them? Illinois Stewardship Alliance's website. You type in Illinois Stewardship Alliance and you'll go straight there and you they'll, they'll direct you uh, to whatever you're looking for. Awesome. So I do want to invite you all to come out to the second annual Soil Health Symposium. It's Thursday, March 7th. From 5.30 to 8.30 right here at Union Street Arts. Derek, thanks for being on today. Thanks for bringing this awesome event here again. And keep going, man. I love all the work you're doing. Keep, it's It's been awesome to see. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right. Is that good? That's great. Anything else we missed? No, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the key parts. All the key parts. Good.